What's good, y'all? Mike Sarge here from MySarge.com. And have y'all ever been listening to music on your phone or in the car, on SoundCloud, Spotify, wherever, and just been like, yo, that album cover is crazy good. That song cover is crazy dope. I wish that I could have an album cover or an EP cover or a song cover that looked that good. Well, the truth is you can. Today, I want to teach you guys how you can make an amazing eye popping album cover, song cover all by yourself. And today I want to teach you how to do it on two different platforms. I'm going to teach you on Photoshop for those of you that have Photoshop. And for those of you that don't have, have Photoshop, it's all good. I'm going to teach you how to make an album cover on a free platform. Yeah, you heard me. I said a free platform. So today you don't want to miss this episode. But as always, I got to make sure we give a huge shout out to the sponsors for even making this happen. If you're interested in learning more about them, be sure to check out the link in the description of this video. And as always, man, you already know the deal. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's work. Salutes to that. Okay, so we're at the Photoshop home screen and we're going to create a new document. So what we're going to do here is, as far as the size of the document, we're just going to go 1,000 by 1,000 pixels, make sure it's on pixels. Resolution, we're going to make sure it's at 300 so we get that high quality. You feel me? And then as far as the background, um, you know, we can change this at any point. It's normally the default is at white, but we're going to set it for this example to black. And then we're going to press Create. Now, as soon as we get to the original screen, we are going to double click on background and just make it into an original layer. At any point, again, we can change this. Not a huge deal. Now, so we're trying to create a cover. So we need to start off with a subject, right? And for this particular example, we won't use you, right? Well, let's see. Music artist. Let's do microphone. We're going to go to Google and type in microphone PNG, all right? And then I'm going to go to images. And now that I think about it, I think this would be a super corny item. So I'm going to switch uh, Jordans, maybe. No, let's go. Let's go Kobe. Um, I'm going to go with Kobe. I'm going to type in Kobe PNG. All right. And as you can tell, um, as you might guess, there are tons of results for this. Now, what I'm actually looking for is let's see let me give you guys an example so when i click on this one in particular i'm trying to get him with a transparent background i don't want the white background here and even though in photoshop you can delete the background i want to make it as easy as possible for you guys to get this done so i click on another one nope still has the white background we're not going to do that one but I do like this one. Let me click on this one. And there we go. So you notice we have a transparent background on this particular photo. So no matter where we put this photo, it's going to work. So we're going to do save as, put it somewhere you can get to. And then within Photoshop, you're going to go to file, place embedded. And then, yep, there we go. So I'm going to adjust this photo as desired. Depending on what item you're grabbing, it may need to be bigger, it may need to be smaller. Really depends on what you're trying to put in there. And it's all lined up where I want it. And I like this. I like exactly, I like it exactly where it is. Now, let's do some editing to this photo very, very quickly, right? So I'm gonna go to image, I'm gonna go to adjustments, and then I'm gonna go to hue and saturation. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the saturation option and I'm gonna click here and move this all the way to the left. Right, so now he is black and white, but he still stands out. So I'm gonna go back to image adjustments and now I'm gonna go to levels this time. And I'm gonna adjust the light and the dark uh, notches right here. So I'm gonna move this white one to the left. I'm gonna toy with this a little bit, all right? And now I'm gonna move, take this one and I'm gonna darken this up and mess with those shadows and those highlights. Then I'm gonna press OK. Now it feels like he fits in a little bit better with this background and he stands out. Now we need to add something else because obviously this just can't be the cover by itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a shape. I'm going to add a rectangle to this and let's see on this rectangle. I don't want it to be filled with anything. You know, I want it to be uh, an empty rectangle. So I'm going to click here on fill. And then I'm going to click here to tell it that I don't want anything on the inside, but I do want something on the outside. I want the stroke. I want the outside to be white. And then we're going to edit the stroke 
width. Uh, let's see, 45 is way too much. Let's go with 20. Um, and if it's too, too big when we, when we make it, we can always adjust it. So let's go here and we're going to go ahead and start making our rectangle. Extend this out a little bit. Click hold and then when I figure out what I want, I let go. And eh, I think that's a little too thick. I think it's a little too thick. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to the width of that stroke and we're going to knock it down to about 10 and then press enter. And that's it. I like it. I like it exactly where that is. That looks good. That looks really good. All right. So some of you guys are probably looking at this and thinking, Sarge, this looks off. Like what's off about it? Well, it's the fact that now the rectangle seems to be the focus and not the icon. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab that rectangle layer and we're going to put it below Kobe. Now look at that. It looks so much better. It looks a whole lot better. All right. So now I'm going to adjust this ever so slightly ever so slightly because now my focus is going to become the text now that's a whole nother discussion in itself many uh, artists now especially your favorite artists they're not even putting text on their covers a lot of times it's just a picture of them or it's some scene in the background so this is really up to creative taste if you want text put text on there if you don't want text on there don't worry about it uh, for this example we're going to use text just so you guys can get into the habit of using it so we're going to click here boom we're going to type in mamba and we got some super cool text here all right so this particular font that i have you guys most of you are not going to have because i downloaded this from a site called defont.com dafont.com you get there's a whole bunch of super dope fonts on there for absolutely free and uh what you do is once you download the fonts um you got to make sure that you put that font file inside of your font folder within your computer there every single computer laptop desktop whatever has a folder that has all the default fonts uh for applications when you load them so whether it's word powerpoint whatever you use to type there is a folder with all the default fonts so once you find that folder make sure that when you download your font files make sure you put it in that folder and i have a number of super cool looking fonts i'm going to click here really fast and let's let's switch it up let's um because i always use this one actually let's go to abyss let's try abyss because i never use it let's let's do it here and look at that just completely changed uh the feel and the style the flavor of the cover looks good looks dope all right so some of you guys are looking at this and like all right this is looking pretty good now if you want to add more font put your name on there put the featured artist go ahead but uh we gotta we gotta work on this black because for many of y'all this black is not gonna work this is not working for you so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go towards the bottom and we're gonna select solid color now just off the cuff, like just off the jump, look, man, it just it just adds character to the photo. Now, if you know anything about the particular person I picked or the team that he played for, their colors are not this color. So we're gonna move this color wheel slightly. All right, so if I was a singer or a pop artist, I would probably rock with this purple right here. But let's say you're a rapper or you're you know it's trap music or it's just more aggressive music, you gotta go with the actual natural. Yeah, that Lakers purple. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. And then uh, if we want it to pop a little bit more, let's uh, let's go to the font. Where's that font at? Let's double click here. And the other like color is gold. So let's pick a, you know, goldish, you know, yellow. That's light enough. And uh, let's see how it looks. Boom. Right there. Looks good. Let's say that you guys have some explicit content, right? So I would go back into Google and I would type in parental advisory uh png or sticker and uh i would find one that's transparent same thing that we've been doing and then put it inside of photoshop and that's obviously way too big start adjusting this a little bit and boom honestly mm, again it's, it's based off taste i would personally make this smaller so i am going to make this smaller but again, if you like it, if you liked it at the size it was at and you're like, no, hey, it's good enough. I rock with it. Cool. And anytime you move the size, make sure you move it back to the center and it looks good. All right. So some of y'all are looking at this and you're like, all right, Sarge, it's all right. It's all right. But I want to know what you would do. I've seen your album covers. I want to know something that you personally would do with your album cover. All right, bet. You're asking me for, for, for my opinion, what I would do. Hold up. Now, for those of you that asked about me, this is what I would do. I'd go back to Google, 
empty basketball court is what I would type in because, you know, obviously he was a basketball player. And I would start searching, right? Because, you know, he, he, was, he was one of the goats, one of the greatest to do it. So I'm considering what the song sounds like and stuff like that. And let's say it pops. Oh, wait, hold on. I see a picture in here that I like. So I'm going to click on it really fast. And when I see it, I don't like it as much as I thought. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the ones that recommended under it. I do this a lot. And then I find one that I actually like and I click on it. And once it loads, I think I like this one. So I'm going to right click on this, save this one. I'm going to do it the same way. I'm going to bring it into Photoshop. And then let's see. I'm gonna extend this out. I'm gonna make it big. Like I'm make I'm gonna make it big, big. Uh, for those of you that are wondering what my thought process is right now, well, I don't want his knees. See where his knees are? They're on the floor. The point is to be a high flyer. So I'm making this big so that he is high enough to where he's almost in the crowd, right? So there we go. So that's high. That's elevation right there. So. Um, now that I'm looking at it, my mind's thinking, all right, this picture is a little pixelated. It doesn't look high quality compared to Kobe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this so the background is not the focus as much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to filter, blur, box blur. Uh, ooh. I'm not going to pick that one, though. 11's, 11's a little much. If you liked how that looked, keep it. Uh, I'm going to rock with maybe about three, maybe four. Yeah, then I'm gonna press OK. So now it's not as much the focus, and now the detail is focused on him. Now, you ask me what I would do? I would grab that layer and I would move it all the way down and put it under that purple that we had earlier, that color fill, right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on that color fill and watch the magic. I'm gonna uh, mess with the op uh, opacity really fast and then watch. Ooh. Okay, that's a little too much. But, ooh, ooh, y'all can't tell me that don't look good. Y'all can't tell me that don't look good. All right, so very quickly, I'm going to do the same thing with another item, right? I'm going to do this very, very quickly. I'm not going to stop. We're just going to kind of speed through this one. Okay, so I told you guys about a free platform. The name of this platform is called Canva. This is the other place where we're going to make a super dope cover. Uh, you can get it for free. All you guys have to do is sign up for a free account, canva.com. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the search bar and I'm going to type in album cover. And here, look at this. Some high quality templates just for you. And uh, all these are super easy to use. I mean, matter of fact, I'm going to click on one real quick. I'm going to click on one, all of them, everything on this cover, I can edit. So if I don't like something, I can just click on it and edit it. I'm like, whoa, that's not my name. I'm going to change this to my name. Boom. Mike Sarge. Already looking like an improvement, like I'm about to own this joint real quick. What else do I want to do? Well, I can either change that photo with a, a photo that Canva has, or I can go to uploads and upload my own photo, right? You can upload your own photo. I've done it. Let me go. Let me go through my gallery real quick. Let me pick one. Uh, let me grab this bad boy. I'm going to click and just hover over it and then let go. All right. So now you're like, well, Sarge, I can't see your photo. Bet. I got you. So I'm going to click on the photo and I'm going to go to adjust and I'm going to fool with that brightness. Boom. Boom. You can see your boy now. Check it out. Looking good. Well, what if I said, like, I don't really rock with this color? Well, just click on it. Boom. Let's let's go yellow. Mm, nah, not rocking with it. Maybe a little red. Mm, not rocking with it. Ooh, gives it that nighttime feel. I'm rocking with that. 
okay anything on here you can edit anything you can change and then just hit download when you're done all right let's do another example real quick let's go back to the templates all right all right let's scroll down let's see let's see uh because i've been giving love to the hip-hop let's let's uh Ooh, wait, hold on. I like this one. This reminds me of bands. Like I, I see that, I see that photo. It reminds me of like a journey on the road, right? So again, like let's let's take this and make it our own, all right? So let me go back to my uploads. Let me let me pick another photo, right? Let me uh again. You can take any photo of yourself if you're a band. Just take a photo with the three of you, the four of you, the five of you, and place it smack dab in there. So I'm grabbing this, dragged it, all right. Um, let's see what else. Let's change. I'm not rocking with this. This beige, whatever. We, we we changing that. Let's go pink. Yeah, I rock with it. But see, before it was black and white. So I'm gonna click on my picture again, and I'm gonna go to uh, adjust, and I'm gonna move that saturation all the way to the left to where it's black and right, white, and then I'm gonna move. Let's see that brightness. I like it. It seems a little off. Let me let me adjust this a little bit. Boom. There we go. Again, and you can just click on the text, affect the text if that's what you want to do. Whatever you want to do with the designs, it is up to you all right and let's let's do one more let's let's do one more um uh let me do one that a lot of singers pop artists do oh i like this one i like this one all right so this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna click on this one a lot of times i mentioned it earlier people don't even have their face in the cover right they just take a super dope photo and they just add to it so we're gonna go to the photos from canva and we're just gonna type in nature right i, I looked it up earlier type in nature and it's gonna have some super dope photos and i'm just gonna pick one and you see that it's free bet and if it's not it'll have that little dollar sign under it and most of the time it's only a dollar but you're gonna click drag it over and then it'll adjust it for you boom look at that look at that looking fire and you didn't even do anything and all you got to do is double click you know if you want to change the font change the 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 name I'm, in this case obviously that's not my name i'm gonna throw my name in that joint and then i'm gonna change the color boom how it looking fire fuego you already know again all right if it doesn't fit the song you're like well what if i'm talking about something else if i'm talking about a journey all right well how about some hills let's have some actual hills now if you can tell this is a little off so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click on here and i'm gonna click crop move this over and how does that look looks good looks really really good so you guys can do a number of things with canva it's wonderful it's awesome and that's it guys man it's really really that simple as far as making your own designs for your music if i had to give you some ending tips it's simply this don't overcomplicate it it's not that not that complicated it's not that hard in order to make a cover design that catches people's attention right because that's ultimately the goal and if anything a pro tip something i do when i make mine i play my music in the background if i play that particular song in the background so i can kind of get a feel so i can get my creative juices flowing for that song so for some of you that song may need to have more reds more stronger colors for, for others of you it might need to have lighter blues light blues yellows greens in it so allow the song to help dictate where you want to go with the design all right now be real with me did you guys really rock with this video if so be sure to hit that like button and then hit that subscribe button so you guys get notified every time i drop a new video also if there's a particular topic you want me to talk about be sure to leave that in the comment section and as always man be you enjoy your life and live authentic salute to that and i'll catch y'all later